Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to talk about the model parameter estimation of global atmospheric de model using the ensemble data simulation. And I'm Shunji Kotsuki from this Nikkei Center for Computational Science. And first of all, I acknowledge my colleagues to support this work, Sagitsi country. So we are working on the global data simulation system named NICAM LTKF, which couples the NICAM for global atmospheric model and LTKF for data simulation. And uh, since 2015, we have been working on improving the, this global data simulation system. And the main purpose of this project is uh, to use, to look for the effective use for, of precipitation measurement. And uh, recently, so this project is funded by the Japanese space agency, JAXA. And recently, we have implemented uh, this like a uh, NICAM LTKF system onto the JAXA supercomputer system. And now it's providing the near real time um, operation. And so in this study, we use this NICAM LTKF and uh, we would like to optimize the parameter of the global atmospheric model using data simulation. And uh, first, I'm showing the experimental setting so as I said, uh, we use the NICA model for numerical model and the LTK for data simulation. And so in this study, we use the relatively coarser resolution version of the NICA as approximately 100 kilometers for, for horizontal resolution. And we use the mainly two parameterization. For one is for cumulus parameterization, and the other one is the large scale condensation. And uh, in this study, we focus on the, this large scale condensation. And currently, our NICAM LTKF assimilates the uh, prepper for AMS radiances and GSMA precipitation for observation. And uh, the important thing is uh, how to choose the observation tuned to parameter. And uh, we would act, I would like to discuss on how to choose the observation to tune the parameter. So it will be discussed later. And this is a cross classical flowchart of the relation system. So we, we we have an ensemble forecast from the numerical weather prediction model. And the, in general, the, we have a state ensemble as a background. And we assimilate the observation to update the state variables. And uh, here we are using LTKF. So we are cycling this data estimation cycle to get the improved initial condition. And uh, for parameter estimation, we add the one part to update the model parameter. So in the in general, the data estimation considers the state ensemble is uh, like a, a kind of state variable. But uh, we also consider the parameter as a state variable in data estimation cycle. And uh, each ensemble member have a different parameter. And uh, it means that we perform the ensemble forecast, and each of them have a different parameter. And uh, different parameter result in the different like uh, atmospheric states or precipitation field or something like that. And uh, it, for the first study, we assimilate GS map. GS map is a satellite sensed precipitation data. And uh, we assimilate this satellite sensed precipitation data to update the model parameter. So there is a si si simultaneous cycle in addition to the cycle for state updates. So, and we're going to see what happened we, when we estimate the parameter. So this is the equation of the large scale condensation proposed by Berry, and, uh, and this, there, in this equation, there are three parameters, but uh, we are going to focus on this first parameter. So briefly to say is that this large-scale condensation scheme controls how fast the cloud droplets are converted into the raindrop. So if B1 is large, the cloud is converted to precipitation faster, and if B1 is smaller, so this combustion speed is relatively slower. So when we estimate this B1 parameter against the GSMA precipitation, so we see the change in parameter. So this point one is the default parameter tuned by the like, uh, model developers. And uh, when we estimate this B1 parameter against the GSMA precipitation, we gradually, we see the gradually changing parameter field. And uh, after the around 15 days data estimate cycle, we see some stable values. So important thing is for parameter estimation is we need to maintain the ensemble spread of parameter because the state variables can propagate by themselves. But the, there is 
no mechanism to increase the parameter ensemble. So that for that purpose, we use a relaxation to prior split with constant parameter to maintain the ensemble split for the estimated parameter. And uh, we see that now we are seeing the change in the prediction field due to the parameter estimation. So left panel is uh, with that parameter data estimation with default model parameter, and this is with parameter data estimation. So this is a prediction field from satellite, and uh, as you see, the, with default model parameter, the model tend to overproduce the weak precipitation in this region, and uh, we haven't, we don't see the, such a weak precipitation in the satellite observation. But and uh, due to the parameter estimation, we could improve the precipitation field. So in this study, we estimate the model parameter against the satellite sense precipitation data, and uh, we obtain the improved precipitation forecast. However, we found that the uh, Unfortunately, the like, radiation budget was degraded in this case. So op default model has a cloudier, uh, two cloudier bias, but the, due to the parameter estimation in this case, the OLR was degraded. So and in this study, I'd, we would like to, we aim to extend the, this like, parameter estimation for the next purpose. So the question is, how can we improve the radiation bias with parameter data estimation? And we consider the two strategies. One is uh, to estimate uh, this B1 parameter against different parameter. So because uh, this B1 parameter controls uh, like a conversion ratio rate from cloud to rain, so we choose the liquid total pass for the like, parameter estimation, uh, observation for parameter estimation. So, and the second strategy is uh, to estimate uh, this B1 parameter spatially. So, I'm going to talk about the first one. So, these three panels are showing the liquid total pass, and uh, this left, left upper panel is uh, like, a, like a control experiment, and this is the parameter estimation, and uh, the bottom panel is the observation we used. So, the Control experiment overproduce the cloud compared to the observation. So you see the hot cloud over the ocean. And it means uh, the control experiments have a cloudier bias. But uh, due to the estimating model parameter relative to this observation, we see the change in the like, liquid water pass field. And uh, the, this, parameter, this liquid water pass field is very similar to the observation. So, and, uh, so, and when we see the outgoing short wave radiation, and uh, we see the significant improvement. So, here we evaluate the, this outgoing short wave radiation relative to the series data. This is a satellite sensed outgoing short wave radiation product produced by NOAA. And uh, because of the cloudier bias in the control experiment, so there is a, like a overproduced over, outgoing short wave radiation. And, uh, because of the parameter estimation relative to the liquid water pass. So the, this cloudier bias was mitigated, and uh, consequently, we see the significant improvement in the outgoing short wave radiation over the ocean. So however, there are some parts we see the degradation. For example, this part or this part. So and these two regions are known to be uh, com shallow convictions are dominant. So, and, uh, As of now, we consider that this B1 parameter is a globally constant. So this parameter is defined as a par constant parameter in the model. And we estimate uh, this globally constant parameter. But uh, we thought that uh, maybe we can improve further by considering the, this parameter as a spatially bearing parameter. And, uh, and the last third one is the one we estimated this parameter as a spatially bearing parameter. So in the case of global parameter estimation, so we use the ensemble transform camera filter to estimate a global constant parameter. In this case, there is a many observation over the globe, and we estimate, we estimate those observations without localization to estimate the global constant parameter. But the, in the case of ensemble camera filter, we can consider the localization. 
and by assimilating local observation by local ensemble transform climate filter, we can estimate the spatial bearing parameter. And in this case, we have a localization, and uh, we are going to see what happened. We estimate the, this parameter as a spatial bearing parameter. So, and this is the experiment I'm going to show. So, in the last part, we see the change in the um, like a short wave, out of short wave radiation by changing the observation used for parameter estimation. And here, I'm, I changed the data estimation methods from ensemble transform karma filter to local ensemble transform karma filter to consider spatially bearing parameter. So, this is a slide showing the estimated parameter field. So, in original, the, the model developer considers this parameter is a globally constant. But the, by estimating the model parameter with local ensemble transform karma filter, we see the spatially bearing parameter field. So, the hot color means the increase in parameter, meaning the like faster conversion from, from cloud to rain, and the blue color means the slower conversion. And we expected that the, the, this conversion ratio would be relatively smaller in shallow convection regions. And as we expected, there are like a smaller values in off the coast of Peru or California or Western Africa. And uh, if we see the seasonality in the parameter field, so this red color is the, like a value of local estimate in this region or of the coast of Peru in the bottom panel. And we know that, the, in, for example, in the case of, of the coast of, of California, the, this shallow convection is dominant only in summer. And when the shallow convection is dominant in summer, the, this parameter is lower only in summer. And in winter, it increases. So this seasonality seems like uh, reasonable. And uh, we are thinking it's a kind of promising result. So this is a panel I've already shown. So we see the change in the liquid water pass relative to observation. And in the case of the global parameter estimation, we see the improvement relative to control experiment. But uh, in this part, so liquid water pass is somehow underestimated. But uh, by estimating the parameter locally, so we see the oh, better result relative to observations. We see the increase in extratropics compared to the global parameter estimation. And uh, also, we see some improvement in the shallow convection regions. And uh, because we estimate, we estimate the parameter against the liquid water pass, it's, of course, reasonable to get the improved result in liquid water pass. And this is our final slide. So we expected to see the improved result in OSR field too. So this is uh, like outgoing short wave radiation bias as a global parameter data estimation. And the light panel is the local parameter data estimation. Unfortunately, we didn't see the significant improvement overall. But some part, we see the improvement. For example, the, uh, off the coast of Peru or California, where the shallow convection is dominant. So in this region, so the, due to the local parameter estimation, so we see that some improvement in outgoing short wave radiation. So let me summarize my presentation. So in this study, I showed the three experiments. So one is that to estimate that this B1 parameter relative to GS map precipitation. So in this case, so this estimation can improve the precipitation forecast, but the liquid water pass was overestimated. And uh, we didn't see, but the OSR was degraded. So, and uh, we would like to estimate the model parameter for, to improve the radiation budget of the model. And uh, we conducted two experiments. One is uh, to estimate the parameter against the liquid water pass. And uh, the last one is uh, estimate model parameter locally. And uh, by changing the observations, the OSR is significantly improved. And uh, by changing, by use of the local ensemble transform current from filter, that like it produced liquid water pass was better than the case with the global constant parameter experiment. So that's it. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Chun Sunji.